Hey there, in this video I am going to show you guys how you can blur any particular object in your clip in DaVinci Resolve and how you can track that blur. Now the tracking has two concepts, automated tracking and manual tracking. So let's see what these are. First of all, automated tracking. So for that, I've taken this clip where two people are trying to record a video for their social media, I guess. But this person, this man is moving a little bit too much. So what we're going to do is we're going to track his face and we're going to blur it out. Simple. Let's get started. So first of all, we'll move to the start of the clip. Then we'll go to the color tab. Once we are in the color tab, you can see this node section. We have this original node of the clip. We won't mess with this node. What we're going to do is simply right click on the node, go to add node and click on add serial. So we have another node and here we'll track the face and blur it out. You can also label the node. Just right click on it, click on node label and write anything you want. I'm going to write blur so you'll understand which node is which one. After we have the node in place, we're going to place a window. A window is basically the area that is similar to the shape of the object which we are going to track and then blur out. You'll understand what I'm saying. What you're going to do is simply go to this little button down here, which says window, click on it. And in here we have this circle. Why circle? Because the shape of the man's face is oval. So the similar shape here is the circle. Click on it and you'll get this shape here. Now, all you have to do is basically make this shape of the circle similar to that of an oval. So we can place it on the face of the man and you can also rotate it give it some breathing space around the face don't be too precise with it we'll keep it this much and we'll also reduce the size of it by this much it's basically covering the face now right now once the window is in place the next step is obviously tracking the window what we'll do here is go to this tracker just click on it and then click on track forward so it will automatically start tracking the face of the person it really works like magic. Just let it track the face of the person and then we'll add the blur. Now, as you can see, the software has automatically tracked this face. The next step is obviously adding the blur. So there are two types in this. First of all, you can go to this button, which says blur and increase the radius here. Okay. So it will just add the basic Gaussian blur, but you can also add any kind of blur that you want by basically going to this button up here which says effects click on it and you'll get all types of blurs so you can add any one of those which you want i'm just gonna go with mosaic blur which is one of the most commonly used blurs so just drag it and drop it on the new node that we have created and there we go you can also increase the intensity of the blur as much as you want i'm just gonna keep it this much now we are done with adding the blur let's see how the clip looks just go to the start of the clip i'll make it full screen and then i'll play the clip guys as you can see it has tracked the face beautifully and the blur is very precise it doesn't reveal the identity of the man so that was automated blur now let's understand the second concept which is manual tracking close this tab go to the edit tab take in the new clip in the new clip what we're going to do is we're going to track the face of this man but if you play the clip, you can see that the man goes behind this person and then comes back into the frame. Okay, that's the clip. I'll crop it for now. Now, like I said, he goes behind the person, which is kind of a problem because we're going to start the manual tracking with automated tracking. But after this point, when he goes behind the person, the software won't understand where the man went. So after that, we are going to need manual tracking. Let's see how that's done. Go to the start of the clip, go to the color tab as usual, right click on the node. Go to add node, add serial, create another node, right click on it. You can also label it. Like I said, again, I'm going to label it blur. Then go to the window section, take this circle here, make it to the shape of the person's face like this, like this. And I'm guessing this much must be fine. Then go to the tracker and start the automated tracking at the beginning. It will start nice, but then it gets stick to the hair of this person, which we don't want. So. We'll go back to the point here. Here it gets stick to the person's head, right? Now I'll explain how it works. This clip section that you see here is where we've been working from the start of the video from the automated tracking. But what happens here is that it tracks the power window for the whole video, for the whole clip. So what we'll do is we'll switch to the frame section where you can track the power window from frame to frame. So at this frame, it sticks to the man's hair, right? So we're just going to create a keyframe. So from here to here, it stays as it is, as the automated tracking has showed us. But after this frame, we are going to change the metrics. So just click right arrow on your keyboard, go to a new frame, create a new keyframe, 
zoom out the video and take this power window out of the frame itself zooming out is done by scrolling up and down okay now we have taken this power window out of the clip itself then we'll just play the video again and at this point in the video the person is coming back right so when he's behind the person create another keyframe so that from this point to this point the power window stays out of the clip but as soon as he comes inside again we're gonna create another keyframe and then bring this power window in again okay then just go ahead a few frames let him come inside again place it like this and after this point again start tracking and it will manually uh, it will automatically track it again to the end of the clip so that's how manual tracking works now let's see if it worked all right just go to effects add the mosaic blur and then control f and let's see how it works at the beginning the tracking is there he goes behind the blur goes out and he's back in and the blur is back in so that worked really great but what happened is at the end of the frame as we saw let's go ahead let's go to the clip again at the end of the frame the track comes back on this person's face and we don't want that why is this happening because at this frame it is still there but again it goes back in at this keyframe so just go to this keyframe to the end of the video just click on this arrow and then click here go to the power window and then take it out again so from this point till this point it will just stay out of the clip so if you play the clip again i'll play it from here it will stay out of the window and it won't come back to the face of that person let's see that again okay it came in here again we have a problem with that why because the power window is here if you go to the next frame next frame it's again here you want it outside let's check every single frame how it works okay it stays outside so if we play it again it will just go outside now it has tracked in a perfect manner if you play the video you'll understand that it tracks 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 and goes outside no problem so that's how you do manual tracking those were the two concepts guys i'll show you one more example of a cars number plate which will basically need automated tracking or it won't really need the manual tracking just go to the color section again right click add node add serial i'm going i'm not going to rename it i know this is the node go to the power window and this time take a rectangle zoom in okay zooming in is by scrolling in and out and if you want to go up and down if i zoom it like this then press control and scroll down okay i'll just zoom out for now i'll make it the shape of the number plate this much is fine i guess place it on the number plate and after this simply go to the tracker start tracking and it will track it automatically then instead of the mosaic blur i'm just gonna add the basic blur this much is fine i'm just gonna reduce it a bit you can also mess with the softness you can tweak the softness of the end so it doesn't look that harsh this much is fine and now if i play the clip go full screen see it's got blurred out you can use any kind of blur that you want for, for now i just use a simple one okay you can also increase the intensity of the blur and that's how you can basically track anything in the vintage or not just face or car number plates anything if you understood the concept and i hope you do and if you did make sure you like the video it really helps the algorithm suggest this video to the needful people share this video with your friends and finally consider subscribing to the channel i post such now which is all tutorials i stream games from time to time and occasionally i post some knowledgeable yet entertaining videos on this channel so that brings us to the end of the video guys thank you for watching the video bye bye